Hey everyone, Brian here, Castle Hives, Northeast Ohio Beekeeping in the apiary. We got a little bit of work to do today. Okay, everybody, so this video is basically going to be a follow up of the mite wash, alcohol wash, whichever you want to call it, and oxalic acid treatments, the six treatment video that I did. My mite counts started at three, three, and I'd have to go back and look, I think 15 it was, and, or no, three, three, and nine, and then I did my six treatments of oxalic acid vaporization, and then I did mite counts uh, afterwards, and my mite counts went up. So the two hives that were three and three were nine and 14. So concerning a little bit. So my plan here, you know, when you're hitting above nine, so that's nine mites per 300 bees, you're at a 3% threshold right there. That's in an area where you gotta treat. I had been treating. So my plan now was to go and get Formic Pro. Now, I've used this in the past. I transitioned away from it just because there are some key details that you have to follow with this product. Now, I am in nowhere, you know, I will say this. I'm not an expert. I'm not a master beekeeper. I am a backyard beekeeper. So what I do here, take it like a grain of salt. Do your own research on this product. What I know from this product is this. It is very temperature sensitive. You have to make sure your temps. Now, manufacturers say below 85, okay? I've even talked to people and they've said, make sure that the first three days that you apply this product, it does not go over 83. Okay, and there's two basic treatment schedules for Formic Pro. You can put two pads on a hive, you know, a double deep box for 14 days and then remove them. Or you can put one pad, leave it for 10 days, take that one off, put another one on for 10 days. I'm doing the two pad treatment. So for all of these hives here, they're gonna get two pads, okay? now. What you can do also with this is, you can leave the honey supers on. There are a lot of products out there where you cannot treat your colonies with honey supers on. Formic Pro is one of those. So um, let's go ahead and start with the Bee Castle. Uh, and basically placement for this is in between the deep boxes, okay? so. I'm basically just going to lift this up, place the pads on there, close that up. So, but again, I stress, do your research on this product if you are going down that road and you're considering using Formic Pro, Might Away Quick Strips, any of those. Make sure you also monitor your temperatures, okay? Now, I'm going to put, you know, somewhere here you're going to see pop up with the temperatures here in this area. You see that right now it's 81, so that's fine. It's going to gradually taper down, and the next like two weeks here, we have 70s, so that's perfect. I transitioned away from this before because Northeast Ohio, we're like a roller coaster with temperatures, and you know, you just run into problems. One of the issues you can get is if it goes above that temperature threshold, you can have too much vaporization of that product and you can have queen loss so that's a number one issue with this so you have to really be careful when you're using formic pro so let's get bee castle open up and let me show you how we put formic pro on a hive all right everybody so i have one of the packets here of the formic pro and what i need to do is and this is just going to be real quick. So pop this off. Okay. 
okay. Now let's clean that. All right. And I'm gonna pop the super. I tell you what, I like these waxed uh, boxes because they're just so easy to work with. Um, now, what I gotta do is remove Let's move the top box over, okay? Now we have the Formic Pro right here, okay? You wanna make sure you have gloves on, okay? Don't breathe this stuff in either. Um, I should probably have my mask on, but I'm not gonna get into the topic of masks. So, here are the two pads, okay? You don't want to cut the paper, anything like that. There we go. That is it. Place it right like that. Replace this back. What you also want to do when you put this product on is proper ventilation. If you have screen bottom boards, pull that bottom out, okay? You also do not want entrance reducers. So you want a full entrance. That way the bees can properly ventilate this product. So from here, these next three days are crucial. Um, 14 days will come, we'll remove this, and then I'm going to do another mite wash just to see, you know, on Main Castle and Buckingham where we are at. So let's move on and let's get these hives done. Um, it's another, you know, 80 degrees with this stuff on, it gets hot. So let's move over to the bee box now and uh, let's get this work going. All right, got my formic. Yeah, I got some girls up in here from uh, the other day. We'll let them out. Okay, I have the formic. That's that. This hive is also getting a second super. So I'm gonna add that now as well. And that will also allow for putting this second super on here also will allow for uh, proper ventilation. All right, let's go quick through the other ones.
Okay, everybody. So I've got two pads on each of the hives here. I'm doing the horizontals over the weekend on another day. I have some work for them, uh, you know, that I have to do yet. So they're going to probably get theirs started uh, in, in the next few days. But again, it's Formic Pro. That's what I'm going with for right now. Just trying to give those mites a good, uh, you know, punch in the gut. Um, still kind of in shock that, uh, you know, I did those oxalic acid treatments and my mite counts went up. Have no idea why, but, you know, I'm not letting the mites get me this year. Last year they did. Um, this year they're not. So um, hopefully this maybe helped you out a little bit though. You know, if you have questions on Formic Pro, th again, this is just what I do. Um, I'm no expert. I'm no master beekeeper. I'm just a backyard beekeeper trying to raise bees, you know. Um, if you like beekeeping uh, and you like watching these videos, hit that like and also subscribe. Helps out the channel. So you all take care. Have a good day and see you all on the next one.